Now, another racism scandal has hit Spanish football. Real Madrid's Vin Vinicius Jr. says he was the victim of monkey chants during the defeat at Valencia. The Brazil forward was incensed and said afterwards that he's been targeted several times while in Spain. The head of the league then criticised the player for insulting Spanish football, throwing fuel on the fire. Madrid coach Carlo Ancelotti was appalled by the treatment of his forward. What happened here has happened before, but not quite to that extent, not like that. It's unacceptable. The Spanish league has a problem. In my opinion, we have to stop the match, because this wasn't just one person. The whole stadium went crazy doing it. And Mark Meadows from DW Sports is here in the studio to tell us more. Mark, this is one of the best players in the world. How is this possibly still happening? As Ancelotti says, Spain has a particular problem. Um, Britain had a big problem with, with racist abuse in football stadiums in the 80s. Then through various educational campaigns, it got better. It's still not perfect. But, yeah, Spain and to a lesser degree Italy have a big issue with it. You can say, well, Spain has had less immigration than, say, Britain or France, but obviously that's no excuse. And there's been players uh, who are black playing in Spain for decades. Um, and Real Madrid got very upset about it, uh, and rightly so. They've actually lodged a hate crime complaint with prosecutors. Now, Vinicius Jr. says at first it was just one individual in the crowd. And then he got so upset about it, he ended up being sent off at the end of the game. And then, as Ancelotti was saying there, it seemed that the whole stadium w was at it. So this is a, a really big issue, you know. And, um, yeah, where do we go from here? It's... And, and what about, the, you know, the Spanish league chief appearing to criticise the player and not the people responsible for the racist chants? Yes, Javier Tibas decided to get in a social media spat with Vinicius. He said, instead of criticising and insulting La Liga, you need to inform yourself properly. Uh, that was with regards to an anti-racism meeting that he said Vinicius had not been at. But, yeah, this has gone right to the top now. Um, and uh, Brazil's president, Lula, has even got involved. He actually spoke about it on the sidelines of a G7 conference, which shows you how important it was. We can listen to him now. He was verbally abused and was called a monkey. It's not possible, almost in the middle of the 21st century, that we have racism getting stronger in many soccer stadiums in Europe. The Brazilian president there. So, Mark, what can football authorities do to, you know, to stop racist abuse like this? Well, we heard Ancelotti there. He, he said that you have to stop the game. At the moment, there's a protocol within football. First of all, if there is racist abuse from the stands, uh, the stadium announcer has to tell them to stop it. Then there's a small suspension. And then if it carries on, then they all go off the pitch. We might be at the situation now where you just go straight off the pitch as soon as you hear it. And that's the end of the game. No more tolerance. And the, the t yeah, the, the, the team whose fans are doing this immediately lose the match automatically, even if they're winning 5-0 at the time. The problem is... Uh, it's deep-rooted. I mean, in the press conference, Ancelotti there was, was asked by a journalist, are you really sure that that was racist abuse? Are you sure it wasn't just booing? Uh, so it's ingrained, you know? And I worked in Italy for many years, and they had a big problem. I remember Mario Bolatelli, the Italy striker, used to get abused by the Juventus fans. They used to shout, a black Italian does not exist. Now, they got a heavy stadium ban for that, but then all they started singing was, jump up and down and Balotelli will die. And because that doesn't include racist language, they got away with it. Seriously ingrained problem. All right, Mark Meadows from DW Sports, thanks so much for that.